You don't have to be a pro to make good espresso. Yet, many baristas around the world face these constant frustrations every single day. So today, I'll show you the seven mistakes every barista has made, how it prevents you from pulling better shots, and of course, I'll teach you how to fix them. Let's go! First things first, clean equipment is essential for great espresso. But I'm not talking about keeping your tools bright and shiny, no. You may not realize it at first, but dirty equipment can seriously mess with your shots. This happens as coffee oils and residue accumulate in your group head, your portafilter and basket after a few brews. So you should make it a habit to clean these parts after each and every shot. Also, descale and deep clean your machine every once in a while. Depending on how much coffee you brew every day, that frequency will look different for you. But make sure you make time for this. It'll be the difference between good and great espresso. In my case, I descaled twice a month. Pro tip, I know you're also making lattes, so wipe that steam wand right after frothing milk to avoid any buildups. There is nothing more disgusting than a dry milk crust. Are you eyeballing your coffee dose? Inconsistent dosing can be sneaky. You should invest in a scale and aim for a consistent dose every time. A good starting point is between 18 to 20 grams for a double shot. You can play around with how much coffee you'll put in, but usually the basket size will define that for you. And hear me out, a scale is meant to be used on mostly every step of the process. So make sure you weigh your beans, then the grounds, and the liquid when you're pulling your shot. A rookie mistake that happens to me quite often is starting to grind your coffee beans and then finding out that you didn't tear your portafilter in the scale. Something useful is writing down the weight of your portafilter in case you find yourself in this situation. This way you can deduct the weight down manually. I'll leave links to my recommended scales for any budget in the description below. Does your shot look like this? This is called channeling and it happens when water finds an uneven path through the coffee grounds. It is caused by improper distribution and tamping technique. Make sure you distribute the grounds evenly in the portafilter and tamp with consistent pressure. You can use a wise distribution tool or WDT to distribute your grounds better. If you don't have this tool, don't worry, you can always use your hands. First, tapping the grounds and then pressing like so. Just remember to wash your hands first. And for the tamping, you will need, of course, a tamper. Believe me when I say, some people don't use one and then they wonder what's wrong with their shots. You need to tamp on a level surface and use the proper technique. This is how it looks like. You'll know you did it right if your puck looks like this. If you want to step up your espresso game, there are links to my favorite WDT and tamper in the description. Under extraction is what happens when the water is not able to pull enough flavor from the coffee grounds. The main giveaway that your espresso is under extracted is sourness. A sour flavor is overpowering. It makes the whole experience unenjoyable. It is usually caused by a short extraction time. When extracting, you're aiming for 22 to 30 seconds with a dense constant flow. If it's happening too fast, that is your cue to check other settings like your grind size or your dose. Speaking of 30 seconds, why not take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more coffee tips? It's gonna take you way less than that. On the flip side, over extraction happens when you extract too much out of your coffee grounds. After the coffee has given you all the good things, you gotta stop that shot and just enjoy. If your extraction time is too long, try adjusting your grind size to be a bit coarser or dosing a slightly less coffee. The goal is to meet a happy medium where the volatile compounds of coffee are providing you with sweetness. That balance is delicate. That is why you have to practice and train your tongue so you can get delicious shots consistently. Still not getting that crema you crave? For context, crema is a flavorful, aromatic, reddish brown froth that sits on top of your espresso shot. It is created when coffee grounds come in contact with hot water. At this time, it releases small bubbles of carbon dioxide. The fresher the beans, the more gas they will release. Therefore, the more crema they will produce. In simple terms, although there is a skill element to extracting espresso with beautiful crema, the results rely mainly on how fresh your beans are. So the main mistake that most baristas make is using old or stale beans. So the solution to this and many problems is buying fresh beans. Fresh beans will help not only the crema, but the entire espresso making process. When in doubt, use fresh beans. There is one crucial factor that could make or break your espresso shots, and really, any other brewing method you like. Adopting this simple yet powerful habit alone will elevate your experience to new heights, but it is often overlooked by a lot of baristas. It is so important that it needed its own video. So go check it out and you'll be brewing better coffee in no time, I promise.
Thank you for watching.